it has been a while since I filmed the base of this but let's go ahead and let you chat about it because I did a speed through. I'm trying to get everything situated because this one is a long one y'all but it is going to be a good one. I know it. So this is the week of the 27th to the 5th. So February 27th to March 5th. And I am using the, what is this kit called? Magic Bound. It is exclusive art. You can still find it in the shop. And I am obsessed with the way it turned out. I did a mixed metal. And initially I was just going to do Lavender Hollow. But then I was like thinking, ooh, what about Lavender Hollow Hollow Mix? I feel like that would be such a good combo with this one and I went ahead and kept the like everything kind of simple but also did some like mixed metal moments throughout. I did like a manual mixed metal bottom washi and then I used the mixed metal of the confetti version 2 um bougie header overlays and confetti bottom washi and I think it turned out really really nice but I had to do so many extenders and I think I messed up a couple of times or maybe I didn't. I don't remember, but there's a lot of things going on and I am excited to dive on in. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get into the spread. Oh, well actually first I wanted to, we'll do those last. We'll, we'll put the deco -y bits on last and deal with that later. So I did do something for future Andrea and I decided that it would be a very good idea to pre-pull stickers for this spread so because there's a lot of stuff going on and Hannah was so kind and made me scripts for everything because I was gonna like do what I normally do and type them out but she went ahead and did it and was like well we did the same things so if you want and I was like hey yes please so this is gonna be rough and tough <clears throat> I could already tell you so I'm just gonna take it out of here and let's go ahead and just start with the sidebar so this was Disney week so for that I'm gonna have to like kind of figure out where everything's at on the thing but I don't think I pulled anything for the sidebar so or maybe I did um, no I didn't pull anything for the sidebar let's do sidebar last just to see where we're at so Let's just put the planner out of the way for this one. This one is, this one's not one to be messing with. So we're just going to put that to the side and just work with a blank slate. Easy, easy does it. So on Monday, we went ahead and, oh well, we went ahead and started our day by, I'm, I'm, I'm already stressed. I don't know if you could tell, but I am frazzled, stressed freaking out because this is a very intimidating spread. So let's just start with this day. I need four things. So I'm going to go ahead and just put down a one of these. Yeah, I didn't pick like stickers that totally make sense for the size of these. So we're just going to have to go with the flow. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we won't do that. Maybe I'll just do this at the bottom. I'm stressed out. So we're going to do that. I have to like kind of pay attention to like what I picked for these to put like icon wise on them. So we'll do that. Um, And then we're going to do a non-pattern. So let's do the pink. And I also have this light pink I want to pull in too. So this will be for that. And then I'm going to do this thick strip question mark. Yeah, right here not gonna be a lot of bougie showing through this but that's just where we're at so first things first on monday we got to the airport very early because that's when our flight was and i had to get padded down so we're gonna go ahead and plop that in if you'd like to read it that's what it says that's my luck for the day and then on the plane we played dungeons dice and danger so i wanted to mark that we played it twice and it was the perfect amount to make the um, the time go like just fly. So D, D, and D for Dungeons, Dice, and Danger. And then we did stay at Pop Century, which I think we had initially planned on staying at like movies or something. I don't remember. But I last minute was like whenever it was like time to check in like the day before I think it was. 
I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and just randomly look and see because I'm a pass holder. So when I booked it, I didn't get a pass holder discount because it was so far in advance. So I went to look and see if I could like take advantage of the, pa- the pass holder discount and I could. So I ended up getting to like kind of like upgrade to Pop Century because it's a Skyliner resort. So it's a little bit more expensive than the other ones, the one that we're staying at. And it was only $100 for the whole trip, which normally it's like $100 more, like, well, like $80 more a day. So was very excited about that. And then we took the Skyliner, we dropped our bags and we took our, took the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios. So I have a little suitcase because we dropped our suitcases and went to Hollywood Studios. It's going to be hard to see these scripts, but you're just going to have to believe me that they are so cute. Then afterwards, this one, we went to Woody's Lunchbox for lunch and um that was like Hannah's request and we got I got like a grilled cheese one with meat in it and she just got like a regular grilled cheese I'm gonna go ahead and put that in with a Woody sticker for Woody's Lunchbox which I might have to cut I don't know yeah I'm gonna cut it these are so teeny tiny but I was like I just need them to be little thing size because most of these have like five things in the box or four so so we got lunchbox and woody's lunchbox it was good we had to wait so long though it was wow that was probably the longest well besides the universal that we waited for food and then afterwards we went on smugglers run so i'm gonna use i don't really have a lot of these ones so i'm gonna like save those we went on Smuggler's Run. I think we had, it was either a Genie Plus or like the paid one. I don't remember. So I'm just going to put down the stickers and then we'll put them in. So we did that. And then can I put a thick label in there? I think it'll fit. I think it'll fit. Just put these down. We went on Smuggler's Run, which is that the one you fly? Yeah, we did horrible. It was funny because we were standing in line and the worker like person, cast member was like, oh, like, you know, like that the pilot, like it's. Cause I've never been a pilot before on this game, on this ride, um, that it's like opposite. And he's like, so like up is up, up is, or up is what? And I'm like up. And he's like, Ugh. and I was like, yeah. And then Hannah took that drop and I just went left to right because I'm just not that right. But that's okay. So smugglers run. And then afterwards we went on rise of the resistance, which I definitely prefer. I don't like star Wars at all. So I'm just doing it for the for the team. And then we did stop to get a pop and a, a Wookiee cookie. The Wookiee cookie, if it was like smaller, it'd be better. But it was one of those things that was just like too much. But I'm glad we tried it. And then this, I'm just going to have to cut. These are by Creativity and Ink. They're just like literally massive. So I never really know what to do with them. I should have put them down first, if we're being honest. But... Maybe I'll do that from now on. And I have this one here for Rise. Again, I want to just kind of zhuzh it in there. And then for the Wookiee cookie, I have this little Chewbacca from Once More With Love. I think that looks cute. Then if we move down, we went on Star Tours, which I don't think I'd ever went on prior. And it was funny because we were like Disney bounding as R2-D2 and C-3PO, I think. Honestly, again, I don't really know much about anything. So we, I'm going to like space these out so I can stick the stickers in. I might just do little things for all of them. Or I guess I could do like one. Maybe I'll do this one. So do, do, do. I don't know anything about Star Wars. But I think this will work out doing the little things. I guess I could do another one of these like that. That's like a good amount of space in between to put the stickers. So we did Star Tours and afterwards we were like walking out and there's like a shop and there was these really cute shirts that said, I love you, I know on the back. Like the one said, I love you all the way down. The one said, I know. And then there was like a um, Millennial Falcon. Is that what's called Millennial Falcon? In a shape of a heart. Again, I don't know anything about Star Wars. I am being a poser on this trip, but we got those because we thought it'd be really cute to have friendship shirts. And we thought it'd be really funny to prank the boys. We're always just trying to prank them, but they don't think that we're funny. 
by then we didn't tell them about the shirts and then on game night on saturday we both wore them and we're like <laughs> surprise and they're like you guys are so annoying but i think that they're just jealous that we're funny so then we went on mickey and minnie's runaway railroad is that what it's called i think so i'm gonna stick this in runaway railway i thought it was railroad but i so don't know runaway railway and then we went on tower of terror because basically that is like the one ride i will not go on and i was asking Hannah, i was like oh like what are your favorite rides here and she was like she named like two and then she's like and tower of terror and i was like well, you how are you gonna do that to me how are you gonna say your like second or third favorite ride that is like this the slantiest tower of terror ever but it works and I'm going to have to go on it, even though I don't want to go on it. And it was absolutely terrifying. And we have the funniest picture for it. I posted it on Instagram um, where I was just very scared. Then we went to the Frozen Sing Along because it was something else that I have never done. And we sang along. Then we went on Toy Story Mania. Toy Story Mania gonna do this and on the swirling saucers like we did so much and we got in like half the day in then for dinner we went to boma which was pretty good so for that i'm gonna use this we did get lost though it was so funny we got lost so many times but basically we went to like there's the two different like hotels we went to the wrong hotel and then we were just like oh we could cross through the middle and then we're like walking and we were like there was like a gate and we're like how do we get through this gate and then we realized like as we were walking back we were like oh that's where the animals live so got lost almost got eaten but not really you know it's dizzy they they, they protect us so for toy story mania i have this this is this is for yeah toy story mania I'm just going to stick this on here. Toy Story Mania. And then we went on the Swirling Saucers ride. Alien Swirling Saucers. We took so many steps these days, y'all. So many. Then we went to Boma, like I said, and got lost. I just had this tree of life because it's like near Animal Kingdom and we didn't go to Animal Kingdom, so it seemed right. Again, we're doing our crooked. Mm, Boma. Which was good. They had the most amazing soup. I don't remember what kind of soup it was. Hmm. I think it was, was it corn, corn chowder? Chicken corn chowder? Hmm. I ate two bowls of it and my favorite thing and I a salad and some chicken but the soup was my favorite and then we went back to the hotel we took an uber back to the hotel and on the uber we went off road roading I didn't even get to put get lost at AKO but that's fine I'll remember it off roading because the <laughs> the uber driver mixed missed the exit and just then went off-roading to get to the end of the exit which was very entertaining we were lulling it was it was not like a crazy off-roading or like anything like dangerous it was more just like flat grass then on tuesday we got up way too early i think like we both have this problem where we convince ourselves that we need to get places earlier than we need to this is all gonna be little things so i'm just gonna place them down we need so how my brain works whenever i'm thinking oh like i need to get somewhere is all right so i need to get someplace by x how and then i do like the back math of like all right how long is it gonna take me to get here 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 here, here right and then I always add like minutes for good measure. I think we just added like an extra round of good minutes for good measure and we just got there like super early, but I think that worked out. I need to put these way closer together. Worked out in our favor anyways, because we, every day, I feel like we didn't like, we didn't wait in lines because we did Genie Plus. I just feel like 
when it comes to the parks like it's almost like you have to just it stinks and this is how it's it is but you have to almost like like imagine that into your ticket price because doing it without it i feel like you're just not getting like the value for your ticket for like how many like lines you have to wait in so i feel like it's like either you're gonna wait in lines all day or pay to like actually go on everything so i always find genie plus worth it if you can just kind of like budget it in that's why i would just just always assume it into the price of disney because i feel like without it like i feel like you could do like animal kingdom and sometimes like animal kingdom without it but i think it's just like hard so we got to magic kingdom way too early and then we rope drop space mountain which we did go on space mountain twice this day because we did rope drop it it's my favorite ride but also, I don't know. I'm, like, going back and forth if it's still my favorite ride or if another ride has surpassed it. But if you want to leave your guesses down below um, for what my, I think, my new favorite ride is. This is my favorite, like, OG ride. So, we rope drop speed fast and we went on it again later with a fast pass. We went on People Mover twice this day. And we got to go, basically, we weren't planning on going to do the like extra like if you're staying in the part in the resort you can like take it this is the tiniest people mover that ever existed um you could take advantage of the like extra magic hours i think that's what they call them so we weren't going to do that i don't think but then we were like well we're here might as well so that's how we ended up rope dropping space mountain and then we just went on all these rides face ranger spin people mover because there was barely anyone there because i feel like most people just rope drop um seven doors mind drain so we went on buzz and then we got this donald corn so long story short is that i'm on my diet or not my diet my coke zero kick and at Magic Kingdom, they don't really have it at any of the restaurants unless it's like a quick service that you can do your own drink. Um, but whenever you walk into Magic Kingdom and you look left and right in the castle, there's those two like stands that have like popcorn and stuff and drinks that are like the ones that you, but they do it for you. And we went over there to get a pop and they had um, this sign up for Donald Corn. Like, it was, like, a dessert that tasted like almond, but it looked like corn. It was on my Instagram. And we were like, all right, let's share one. We're in a sharing mood. So, we got one, and we loved it so much that we went back later and got individual ones. That was one of the highlights of this trip. But it was based off of the munchlings. And there's like a Donald corn in the new vegetable version. And it is so cute. Jessica actually got the munchling whenever we were in New York. So jealous. But yeah, we did that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put in four more little things. So we're just going to kind of pop them in. I mean, five more little things. We're just going to do this. But yeah, it was so, so, so tasty. And I could go for one right now i didn't seem like anyone post about it either but it was delicious and i will dream of it forever because i doubt that they will have it again let's do another one from this pink sheet look at how cute this looks though okay so then if we're continuing on we went on the aerial ride what's it called journey with Lil Marie or something right here everything's crooked today it's okay though under the sea or is it under the sea with little mermaid i don't know then we went on the dumbo ride for um in solidarity with amanda because amanda is the funniest person ever we were like she hadn't been to disney in a long time and her uh boyfriend is very into disney which i just love that for her and they were going to disney and we were like oh like what are you excited to rope drop and she's like oh i don't know and i was like okay and she's like maybe dumbo and we were just like eve like andy too we were just all like cackling because we were like oh amanda just wanting to 
rope drop. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Rope drop. Dumbo. Such a sweet girl. So we went, then we went on Barn Starver because Amanda had never been on it. It's like a kitty ride. It had a really short wait. So we were like, what the heck? We're here. Let's go on it. And then this day we went on the train three times. I cut this way too small, but it's fine. And I was just really excited that the train was back up because the last time whenever Nick and I were there, we heard the train horn, like the whistle, I guess. And we were like, oh my God, and we were like peeking over the fence. There was cast members. They were like, oh yeah, they're doing like, they have to do like a month or like a couple of weeks of like it just test running. And we were like, oh my gosh, like, because it hasn't been up since pre-COVID. So we were just like shook. And then I was really excited that we got to go on it. We went on it three times. Hannah had never been on it. So that was very exciting as well. And then for lunch... I picked for lunch because I am, I don't, I think that we both just, this is our preference for quick service. It is Peco or Peco's Bill. I think so. I don't know. TBH, but it's so good for quick service. It's my favorite one. I think my favorite quick service just in general. And then we have another, y'all, that's a lot. We have another five day, another five day, my friends. So we're just going to go ahead and, like we did last time, put down all of the little things first. This is so ambitious. And I'm stressed out about it. Not going to lie, I did bring home an extra little thing sheet <laughs> for myself. And it was Hannah's request, which thank goodness, because I would have been over here like panicking a smidge. And then we'll do the other one of the pink ones. So, again, we did the, um, I'm glad she, like, went and looked all these up because I put very vague names. We did Swiss Family Robinson's Treehouse because I don't think she had done that either. We are like, why not? We're right here. And then we had a Jungle Cruise. I think it was a uh, Genie Plus. So, I have another sticker from creativity and ink that I'm going to cut teenier would not mind if she came out with these in like mini form because that's like literally what I need and then we um got munchlings which I really wanted the Mike one and I got him I think we might have both got him I'm not sure but we both got him eventually I don't know if we both got him in this part but the bunchlings, the current, I have some from previous trips, but the current ones are vegetables and I love vegetables so much. So Mike was avocado toast and I thought that that was hilarious. There's a large Mike and I kind of want him. Like if anybody wants to buy it for me for my birthday or something, like I'm, I'm totally cool with it. But we got the munchling and we wanted Mike. I think we might have both got Mike this time. I'm not sure. We got, ended up getting three Mikes. Mike's on this trip, so I think he's very popular in the packs. Um, and then we went on Big Thunder Mountain so for that I have this mountain here that I'm gonna chop up for Big Thunder Mountain and then also we weren't planning on it but there was still like you could pay to go on Snow White's mine train and we were like I was like when in Rome like neither of us was like really like, oh, we need to go on this. But I was like, eh, it's still there. Might as well. So we went on Snow White's Mine Train. Then afterwards, we have, I just might just, well, put down all five and just. So then I'm just going to tell the stories as I continue down the day. So then we, uh, Hannah was like, is loves the Gaston's cinnamon roll. And honestly, I'm going to be frank with you I don't really care about cinnamon rolls too much I know it might be a cardinal sin but I just don't care too much but I was in it to win it and you know what I wanted popcorn because I am a popcorn gal so we went over there to take a break because I'm also a big fan of breaks I just I'm gonna skip the paint because I'm gonna be able to you know space it out elsewhere I'm just gonna keep laying these down in the same color order just so that the colors are spaced out perfectly so Went over to Gaston's. We got a cinnamon roll. Well, Hannah did. She said it wasn't the best one that she's had. She said it was a little dry. I just was like, it's a cinnamon roll. It was good, but also I feel like Nick is like the big old cinnamon roll 
do. Like, he loves cinnamon rolls. He's a big, like, fan of trying them all, having his favorites. Me, I just don't really care about cinnamon rolls. Um, we did that. I got popcorn and... For that, I just have like a little drink because we did get drinks. I think I got a water here because they didn't have um, Coke Zero, which is basically what I did. If they didn't have Coke Zero, we drank water. Or, well, Hannah might have drank a Diet Coke, but you know. Then afterwards, we did go on Small World. I am team Small World. I really like Small World. Um, I know a lot of people don't and think it's creepy, but I just think it's very quintessential and I love the art. Again, I'm going to cut this up into teeny tiny little pieces and just smush it in as much as possible. Oops. I thought that would work. Come on, buddy. Eh, you know, you win some, you lose some. So we did that. I need to keep putting just the stickers down first. Then we got pixie dusted, which was fun. I've never done that before, but Hannah was like, we need to do it. And Nick wasn't there because otherwise he would have had a heart attack because of the amount of glitter that was on our heads. And then we, oh my God, it was so funny. Speaking of glitter. So Nick was at work the other day. He's been working at, um, like part-time, I guess, at Scroll Prince Co., just like getting things done, getting us ahead because I've been kind of stressed out about wanting to get ahead. But anyways, he he called me and he's like, oh my God, I found the funniest thing to give to Hannah. And I was like, what are you talking about? Because the other day he was like, he was at H-E-B, he's like, I bought Hannah something. And I was like, oh, you're such a nerd. So he brought it home and it was this card that says I, she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. Because for Christmas, Hannah brought over gifts and they were very, very sparkly and they left glitter everywhere and Nick was so mad about it. So now it's their own little inside joke. So pixie dusted, Nick would have died. Then we went on the teacups. Oh, well, teacups is here. And then we also went on the and did the Country Bear Jamboree, which Hannah had also never done. I only recently did it with Nick, and we thought it was hilarious. It's, like, so spooky, cringy, funny. Um, but, yeah, it's just something you got to do once, and it's very questionable. But, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's fun. So, we went and did that. Now, I feel like Country Bears is just my thing. And I want to learn all their names because I am just a big old fan. And then we went on Pirates of the Caribbean. And again, we didn't wait like in any lines. And we didn't run around. We took breaks. I feel like it was just an all-around good time. Then we, so we went on Pirates. And then we went on Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor. So I just have, what's her name? Is her name Bras, I think? I was actually on the like little teleprompter thing, the first one. It was like doesn't like being singled out and it was a picture. Well, it was like a video of me. Very, very funny. Then, do you see, I, I just don't think, I don't think it's like, it's LOL, but not. I don't know. You know what I mean? I have a very select kind of humor, which is like Will Ferrell, which also is not the best choice, but... So we went then, we were like, ugh, what else we got to do? Aladdin magic carpets because we just had a little bit of time. And then we were like, all right, what are we going to do? We have no more like fast passes. We have a little bit of time till dinner and we're not going to obviously go back to the hotel. And I don't really feel like waiting in line because I feel like we literally did everything besides like Peter Pan, which neither of us care about. So we decided to go resort hopping. We were going to do it after dinner, but... Basically, we just wanted to walk, like, go around all the monorail resorts and just check out all the shops, check out all the pin trading, because Hannah got me into pin trading, and um, just, you know, do what we're going to do. So, it was funny, though, because we, I don't remember where we got off. I don't know what the, what the situation was, but basically, we, like, missed our stop for the Polynesian, which was very funny. So, we ended up just doing the resort hopping that I don't remember what the whole thing was but anyways oh wait why did I put Space Mountain now but we missed our stop and we were literally like we got out at the Grand Floridian and I was like wasn't the Polynesian supposed to be next and they both like looked at each other and we were like huh 
what happened? But we were just too busy talking and we missed our stop. But we but also were just like, maybe they didn't stop. But also like that doesn't make sense. I'm going to, oh, there's, oh. I think I want to put like some of these extra ones over here. LOL, where's the poly? Because that's a funny one. And then we're going to do Ohana. And then there's also Got Lost at AKL. So I think I'm just going to put some of these other ones that I didn't have spots for over here. It just says Memories. So there's that. We ate dinner at Ohana because that was Hannah's request slash pick. And last time I ate at Ohana, I threw up violently in the middle of the night then. But I was okay this time. So that's that was a good time. And the food was good. I tried the shrimp. I don't eat shrimp or fish. But Hannah so kindly peeled one even though she doesn't really eat shrimp that often either I don't really eat it at all but it wasn't bad I'm trying I try I'm not trying to do it I try things there's some things I won't try like caviar not really interested in it and raw fish not really interested in it everything else I'll try once once so on Wednesday we were going to Epcot and we decided to we were going to rope drop frozen was wild because we had to like walk like all the way around which I didn't realize that was a thing we were like oh sweet we um we were like because we stayed at the mm, hold on we stayed at the what is it called why am I blanking we stayed at the Skyliner Resort we're like oh it's gonna be like right there but it's actually like all the way around did not realize that so we ended up having to walk a ton but exercise and it was like nice out for the most part so we rope dropped frozen I think we went on frozen twice this day I think maybe did we I don't remember maybe not oh yeah we did go on frozen twice then we went on Soren, which we also went on Soren twice we went on the first time without a genie and then the second time with a genie um and it was so funny because we both like I didn't I don't know like maybe I'm the only person out there who didn't know this well I guess Hannah didn't know it either but we both like put the child strap on and we I like the guy next to me I was like oh you have to put that on and the lady was like no you don't like the person who was like the cast member and I was like oh and the guy was like laughing it was a whole thing, but me and Hannah both both had the child seat on for the whole thing. So I didn't even know it was a child seat. I thought it was just extra safety. So we did that, and then we did Living with the Land, which I think is very boring. But Hannah wanted to go on it, and there was, like, no wait. And also was thinking of Andy, Amanda's boyfriend, because that's his favorite ride in, um, what's it called? In, ooh. And Epcot is his favorite ride, so we were thinking of him. Then, um, blah, 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 blah. We went, wait, where am I? Living with the land. And then we had a snack break. Because I was, like, weirdly hungry. So I ate some tacos. So, so for living with the land, I had this ginormo Mickey. I don't really know where. I could do that and, like, cut it on the edge my wish list for my birthday is these stickers but smaller i don't know when i'm going to disney next i did renew my ap but i did not renew nick and bennett just because like school and everything really just doesn't jive with going to disney super often so glad we got it out while we could but i kept mine because i'll probably go with friends and also if nick and i go on vacation or we go on vacation with the kids we want to like do something different so I am going to put in, this is, if you didn't guess it, this is, I think, my new favorite ride. I went on it once with Nick. He does not like it because he got sick, but the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. <gasps> Best ride ever. I love that ride. I Every time I leave this ride, I get off smiling. I don't even like Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't like Marvel. I don't like none of it. But Guardians of the Galaxy ride is so good. It's like obnoxious how good it is. If you haven't wrote it yet, you need to. It needs to be on your list of things to do at Disney because it is magical everything. Perfection. I would ride it. I would spend a whole day, no joke, a whole day riding this ride because it is so fun. It's so thrilling. It is unlike any other. And it does like 
in a way, like if you may, if you go on it and like, maybe you can, maybe you can agree or disagree. It kind of reminds me of Space Mountain in a way, but in like a, a high tech new age, better way. I don't know. I am a big, um, Space Mountain fan. So it's like hard to say that, but at the same time, we know our worth. So let's go ahead and start at the top so we did do i feel like every time i do a sticker it's like on the opposite side that it needs to be all right so we did do test track which i'm just gonna cut this like this which was very fun it's like cheesy but fun also just wish they would like retheme it because i don't really care about chevy um and what does it say guy mobile oh yeah hannah made the car because again i don't really care about it and she made it look like a guy fiendi car and she was like trying to get the most powerful car which she did and then afterwards we did get well i got violet lemonade which was like one of the few things that i was like bucket listing was the violet lemonade and i just use rapunzel because she's like wearing a purple dress kind of the color so I wanted Violet Lemonade and then we just went and got, um, we were just like trying to eat and we got this, um, gross chicken and waffles. It, Hannah says it was gross. I'm going to cut out gross. I don't think it was gross. I just don't think it was as good as it sounded. So neither of us really ate it. So there was that. Then, also while we were there, if you know Disney Food Blog, there was, like, one of the people who, like, take pictures and stuff was there. And, like, she offered us to share a table with us, which I thought was very nice. And then on her, like, little plate thing said Disney Food Blog. And then later on, we saw her, like, on the Disney Food Blog, like, Instagram. So, that was very nice of her. And just, like, a wild thing because Disney Food Blog followed it a long time. Then, um, we ate everything in China. So I put China everything and China was probably our best. I feel like just Asian food in general, Asian and Mexicans usually a hit with me and Hannah both. So we ate everything in China, which everything was good. So we got most of our like lunchtime foods at, and then afterwards we went on frozen again. Instead of doing the times two, I just put it in twice because I also have a lot of characters to use for frozen my little like pile my sticker pile little olaf for frozen i do like the frozen ride though it's very quick but i do like it then we need another set of five let me just use up some of these i'm kind of nervous that i'm gonna run out of little things just a little bit just a little bit <sighs> But I can just like, I'll just trim these down worst case scenario, but I'm not going to lie. I'm very nervous about it. So let's do that. And blue. And pink. Actually, let's do one of the light pink since I have those. And then the dark pink. So then we went, all my stickers are flying off of these things though. So we went on um, the Grand Fiesta tour because Hannah had never been on it. I'm just going to cut out one of these little hats. She never went on it. I think it's very boring. I think it could be rethemed. I think it's just something else. So we went on that because there's never a wait. If you ever need some air conditioning in Epcot, that is the way to go. And then we went to the creation shops and got more munchlings, which this was the only place that we found the, I think they were sweet ones. And I ended up getting, or I don't know if Hannah got it and then switched me because I got a duplicate, but I ended up getting Mushu, which I do love Mulan quite a bit. So I was very excited about that. He was the mystery munchling for that pack. I think that that was the vegetable one though, but I was very excited about um, Mushu. And I think I also got Thumper or Hannah got Thumper. I don't remember. Then we went on, I think I'm just going to cut Nemo out. We went on the um, Seas with Nemo, which is another ride that rarely has 
a weight and is good air conditioning. The C is with Nemo. And then we went on Figment because, again, I don't think Hannah had went on it or she's just, like, not a fan. But I was like, let's just do it because there's not a weight. I think we might have used even Genie for it. And it says and pins. Oh, so at the end there was a pin trading and we ended up getting Cruella and Shelly pins. And then also we were, like, trying to get on the boat and to, like, cross to go to get dinner. But the boat ended up like closing early, so we didn't end up taking the boat, which we so we just had to walk the whole way around, which was fine. So we ended up then going to I don't know why I have Boba Fett, but we're just gonna use him. We ended up going to Germany because they had like we went through the list of foods and like just made notes on like, oh, what would we want to eat? And Germany was another one that had like two things that we wanted to try and both of them were gross like it was weird because I feel like food and wine is just so good and then flower and garden was just like yucky and Germany was way yuckier I think than the um the chicken waffle I think Germany was grosser it looked like cat food it was just not good and it was like lukewarm it was just a weird time so then afterwards we had our saving grace banger and that was um I'm gonna use these for this one that was, we had a funnel cake, which I live, breathe for funnel cakes. I talked about it in the recent mystery that I'm just a big fan. Funnel cake and soft serve. I don't really know. If you had to, like, if I had to choose, I don't know what I'd pick, TBH, but I love them both. The funnel cake, it slaps. So, basically, we got funnel cake so I'm going to use the little um Mickey fireworks for that and we should have honestly got two funnel cakes because they were so good funnel cake and then funnel cake and then we went to spaceship earth and did that I'm gonna actually put down the thing first and in between this I didn't put it in because I was just going to explain it whenever I got to it. But basically, before Spaceship Earth, I had like a little bit of a mental breakdown because I really wanted lettuce. And I don't know, maybe I was like dehydrated and losing it. But we basically sat there for a while and I was like, I know like you want to go to this place for dinner, but honestly, I just want lettuce and I just need a salad. I don't know if it was like we ate too much like junkier food that I was like, I just need lettuce and I need it like now. So we were like looking at the menu and I was like, I wonder if I can get, they had like a kid's side salad and kid's grilled chicken. They didn't have like anything at Coral Reef that didn't seem very heavy. And I was just like stressing out because I, I don't know what it was, but I was just like, I need a salad and vegetables and, and I also wanted vegetables and like grilled chicken like I just wanted something like mega healthy I don't know what was going on but I felt like I was gonna die it was <laughs> it was that dramatic but I ended up getting from the kids menu they had the grilled chicken they had a kid's side salad which I got and then they also had sides of broccoli all on the kids menu they didn't have any of this for like adults but they'll they'll do whatever at Disney they don't care um but I was just like can I please order this and she's like yeah it's fine and I was like thank you like that's all I wanted was broccoli and honestly broccoli right now is my like number one love of my life I might make some broccoli after I do this because I just like broccoli Brussels sprouts lettuce I don't know why but my body like craves it like some people crave like sweets no I crave vegetables like onions like I would eat a whole onion all the time and edamame forget about it I love vegetables and then whenever we got back because we ate kind of early like we even went to our reservation early and they got us in early which was really awesome um, but we ended up getting like chicken nuggets and fries and went to bed early, but it was a good, good day. Again, a long day. Well, look at like, well, let me give you a little preview of this situation. <laughs> ah, that is, this is nuts, <laughs> but I love it so much. This is something else. Hold on, let me take a picture and send it to Hannah. I think she sent me a voice memo, but yeah let me i can't get the whole thing in the frame there it goes okay 
I'll listen to that later. But like, come on. That is wild and so fun. I love that all of the scripts are foiled. She's always like, Andre, I'm just waiting for the day whenever you're like, I need all my scripts for a week foiled every single week. And I'm like, I don't want to do that to you, but it sounds like a good time. So, because it looks so good. Like no black scripts, it's all just foiled. Oh, it's tempting, it's tempting. And I have another one. So on Thursday, this day, kind of trash, but we'll get into it. But it's all for the memories and also now we know. So this is the day that we went to Universal. We slept in this day, slept in, and it was real time. So let's see, I need five things. I'm running out of little things. Hopefully things lighten up because it's gonna start getting wild up here. Use the yellow. So we went to Universal, and I haven't been to Universal since um, before I was, no, I went to Universal when I was pregnant with Bennett, but I could not go on anything because I was pregnant. That trip was planned prior to me getting pregnant. I wouldn't have planned it if I would have known that that was the situation. And we also went to Disney, so at least I got to do stuff in Disney because if you're pregnant, Disney is not like, it's really not that wild. You just can't go on like roller coasters and like a couple of other random things. So, Universal, I couldn't do anything when we went to Universal. I could go on, like, stuff in the Seuss world, and I think I went on, like, the Simpsons ride, possibly, but also that might just be a fever dream. Or whenever I went to Universal in California, pre, 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 pre that. So, I'm not a fan of Universal. I'm just going to go out and say it. So, first things first is we got an Uber there, which was, like, the best Uber, Uber ever. His name was Kevin, and he was so funny. I'm going to just use a little Mickey head because I don't have anything for this Uber situation. So his name was Kevin and he was just so funny. As soon as we like, like we got in the Uber, he was like, oh, are you going to Universal? Well, hope you know that Disney's going to charge you tax on that. And that, you know, they're going to, whenever you come back, you're going to have to go into the program to, to deprogram you or whatever. It was so funny. And he was just like chit chatting the whole time. Great time in the Uber. Then we decided to get ice cream for breakfast because that's what adults do. So it's called Florian Fortescue. It was in the Harry Potter section and the ice cream was quite good. I love soft serve just in general though. I guess soft serve from McDonald's and be happy. Then we went on Hogwarts. The Yeah, we went on the Hogwarts Express. We have this little Dumbledore sticker. And I want to preface this with, we thought, oh, you know, we want to make the, the most of this trip. So we ended up buying the, like, Universal Express Pass, which was, like, $200 or something, which is just honestly insane because of how much Disney's is and also how much the price of, like, a ticket for Universal is. And we were like, you know what? I don't think we're going to regret it, though, because we're going to save so much time and be able to go on more things. We're only going for one day. We need to make it worth it, blah, blah, blah. I don't recommend. I don't recommend. I do not recommend. Because the posted signs would be like 45 minute wait. And we're like, okay, it's great. We got the the fast pass or whatever they call it. The universal quick whatever pass. Express pass? I don't know. But um, we like if the posted time was 45 minutes, I feel like we still waited like 25 minutes. And I feel like for the price of it being, or maybe it was like 130. I don't remember. It was still way, like Disney's was like max 30. And, like, whenever you do, I mean, like, granted, you can't just, like, go on any ride. You have to, like, kind of pre-plan them and wait it out. I feel like it was still, like, the system is way better. And especially, I think if we would have went to Universal first, maybe I wouldn't have been so bitter about the whole thing. But it was just wild. Where Like, whenever you're in the express lane and they drop you off with, like, the regular line, there's still so much more line to go. So I don't know. I just felt like everything moved slowly. I feel like we did get a lot done, but also the rides there are just like, they feel like they're from the 90s. I feel like I'm at Six Flags. I just was not into it. The food, like the, we waited for forever at the Three Broomsticks, like over an hour. Once we got in, over an hour from ordering to get our food and we got side salads and soup. It was the weirdest, it was the weirdest thing that ever happened. We were like at the point where we're like, should we like ask somebody if we did something wrong? But also we got our waters. It was bizarre absolutely bizarre 
And just like, I feel like when you go to Disney, you're used to Disney. And then you go to other places, you're like, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is not for me. I will say the one thing that was super fun about um, Universal was the Velocicoaster. And I am personally just a very big fan of Jurassic Park. I, I love dinosaurs. I don't really care about Jurassic World too much. I love dinosaurs. I have kids who love dinosaurs. So I feel like by default, I also have to love dinosaurs. But I just always loved Jurassic Park. Again, I don't really care about Jurassic World. I don't really like Chris Pratt, TBH. Again, it might be a hot take, as the kids say. But I just don't care about Jurassic World. Um, but anyways, so I was really excited to go on the Velocicoaster. I didn't really know anything about it besides that I wanted to go on it. And that was a banger. I love that. It was, probably, it was probably my favorite roller coaster I've ever been on, which says a lot. So, like, if I ever was forced to go back, I would definitely go on the Velocicoaster again. I thought that that was very, very fun. And I would definitely recommend if you are going to hit up the Velocicoaster. And then, so I had went on Tower of Terror the day before. And I really love water rides. And Hannah hates water rides. She's basically a cat who hates cats. And we there was a ride called Jurassic Park River Adventure and I was like oh it looks like a water ride but it doesn't look like one of those water rides where you're gonna get like super wet so we're we get in line we use our little express pass she's like oh yeah it's fine I'm like I'll do this one for you because you did um the Tower of Terror so we get to like the part of the line where they like scan your express pass to like let you in the other like the regular line and I was like oh just like wanted to like ask like do you get like super like how wet do you get on this ride and the person looked at me stone faced and was like soaked and that was it and I was like I giggled so so hard Nick just texted me that our Starbucks card I feel like Starbucks is always like my card's always being compromised well it's like the third time which I just feel like is a lot I think it's like the like rewards card, not like my account. So, so I'm currently on chat, but it's like taking a while. So I'm just gonna keep keep on keeping on. So we went on that and got soaked, which was so funny. And then we went on um, Skull Island. I don't know. Those rides are just like whatever. I feel like I don't even know. Like I don't feel like Disney rides. I mean, there's just something different about them then we went on the spider-man ride which i just have a little mickey mouse because spider-man is i know like a shared kind of thing so we have that and then we went and got annie ann's because um i don't know we were just like not not feeling the feeling annie ann's sounded good we were very hungry just sounded great Annie Ann's and then we were like all right I'll go there was this other ride that Hannah was like wanting to go on that's one of the like droppy drop ones and I just really don't like droppy rides I just think they are kind of spooky so she's like if you go on that I'll go on the other ride so we're like one for one and at that time she was like I'll also go on ET blah 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 which she hates ET but she's like I'll just keep my eyes closed the entire time and I was like, well, I don't really care about E.T. too much. I do like E.T., but I was like, I want to go on the water ride. So we went on the water ride, and she got even more soaked. And it was so funny because she was, like, so grumpy. We took these pictures, and I sent them. We sent them to, like, our group chat with the boys. And um, Nick goes, Who's, why is Tuesday Adams there or something like that? And because Hannah literally looks like Wednesday Adams, but we're calling her Tuesday. So that is Ripshaw Falls. And that was so funny. Got even wetter on that one. And we were laughing so hard. I think people behind us were very annoyed with our crazy laughter because Hannah had glitter all over her face from her eyeballs. And it was so funny. Then we went on the Doctor Doom, which was so boring. I wasn't even, it was like a little, not like a little sus, but like not as scary as Tower of Terror, where you're, like, coming out of your seat. So, this was Dr. Doom. I used Thor because he could be Dr. Doom. 
and I don't even know who Dr. Doom is. Then we went on the Hulk roller coaster, which was fine. I feel like if I would have went on it before the Velocicoaster, I would have been like, wow, that was so fun. But the Velocicoaster was still just winning my heart. And if the line wasn't so long, also it was so weird. Like, you had to, like, put your stuff in a, like, I mean, I guess it makes sense because they are, like, intense. But you had to put your stuff in, like, little lockers. And then you had to, like, go through a, um what's it called? Like a metal detector, which I thought was just like so nuts. Then when we went on the fake teacup ride, which I don't even know what it was called, but I just called it fake teacups. So that is what she's going to be called. It was near the Hulk coaster, but it was like the same concept as teacups. So it's fake teacups for me. And then we did cat in the hat. We did like the, like, I don't even know what we did. We did like the Seuss train and the cat in the hat. So this one is cat in the hat. And then we did like I said, do the Seuss. I'm like running out of little things. Okay, okay. So I ended up with way more purple ones. Not really sure how that happened. Um, I'm also just responding to these emails. I think I'm going to do like, am I going to do like every other? Or am I going to be cutting? So I might be cutting stuff. So two, three. I might just put them all in while we're here. And another purple one. And I'm just going to put down the last five as well. So we have one. And then I think I'm going to trim these into like slimmer things. Slimmer little things. It looks about right, about crooked, but it's going to have to do. Ugh, I have to do a phone call. I don't know about this. I don't know if it's worth the effort. Yeah, I'm just probably going to take the L on that one because I hate phone calls. I feel like it's something that should be able to be taken over like chat. And they're gonna send me a survey. And literally just told me to call. Ugh. I haven't drank Starbucks in a minute though, so. Okay, so there are those. So let's go through the thing. So we went on the Seuss train thing. It was like fine, it's a kiddie ride. Like, what are you gonna expect? So I just used this Disney map cut small again because we have a limited amount of space and then we ate lunch at the three broomsticks which again took forever which i had the perfect sticker for that we have a little draco and the soup and like salad and the oh we got potatoes too they're like a side um the food was like okay this the soup at boma was just still winning my heart then we went on um, Escape from Gringot Gringotts, which I preferred that over the other Harry Potter ride. Or wait, no, just kidding. I preferred the other. I don't, honestly, I don't really like any of the Harry Potter rides, if I'm being honest with you. But also, Hagrid's was closed, so I don't know if I like that one or not, because I still have not been able to ride it, because I couldn't ride it when I was pregnant. So, there's that. And then, um, we went on the Fast and the Furious ride, which was something else but there was this like bus driver for once more with love and I thought that, that was perfect but honestly again it's, if I wouldn't have waited that long to go on it because we had the like fast pass thing like but it was so long like I don't understand then we went to um I don't remember what I wanted to put here then we had so we went there we went on the fast and the furious I'm on the wrong day. No, I'm not. Fast and the Furious. And then... Oh, this is for... We went on the Gringotts ride. And we found out that they don't sell the non... Um, interactive ones. So we threw a little, little quiet tantrum and didn't buy anything. 
Um, and then we uh, went on the mummy ride, which was like fine. That was one of the better ones. And then we went on another roller coaster. We went on the Rip Ride Rocket. And that was super fun because you got to, like, pick your own music. And I thought it was going to be, like, really cheesy music. But they had Skrillex. And I thought that was really cool. I got to listen to Skrillex and go on a roller coaster. So I was very excited about that one. Hannah hated that one. And then we went to Fort Wilderness. We went back to Disney where we belong, basically. We also did have Annie Ann's, I think, at some point again. We had Annie Ann's twice this day because that's just the, the care we needed. We went to Fort Wilderness. This was a last-minute booking, but we were like, oh, we should do, like, a reservation. I don't know if we did it the day before. I think we might have. Um, whenever we were looking for different reservations, Hannah was like, oh, they have the hoop de doo And we were like, I was like, I'll do anything once. And it was literally the most fun that I've had literally in my whole entire life. I would recommend it. I would go again. And then I wanted to put in that uh, f ing Bobby Flay because we were, had been watching Guy, like, Guy's Grocery Games, Diner Drive and Dives at night. And I was, like, getting in the shower. And I was, like, I just hope it's not Bobby Flay on. And we turned it on and Bobby Flay was on. I'm psychic. Let's just say, like, I have had a lot of psychic things happen recently where I like say something and then it ends up happening and some of the things are like kind of wild kind of wild so I'm kind of afraid of myself but I'm just happy to be back at Disney and the hoopty doo dah was so fun is that what it's called hoopty doo hoopty doo dah oh whatever so I decided I'm not calling Starbucks because it was one transaction and I like changed everything so I think it's fine but I just calling makes me want to throw up so then we are back on my game of having five things to put in so I have one more in this pink one so let's go ahead and use that or I'm gonna use the pink down here just go and pre put it in so I'm gonna have to do some cutting so we have these purple ones and then I have um five things I have one that's four so one two three so I need 15 cut up things so let's start with these ones because I may be kind of done with this page so 15 so we're just gonna just cut 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 but yeah um so that we started off the day we're like oh you know I'd go back to Universal in like five years and then like as the day progressed we're like maybe like in 10 years and then we're like maybe never we're just Disney people and Universal is not what it's cracked up to be and I just feel like for how expensive it is I'd just rather go to Disney so that's that let me know your thoughts on Disney versus Universal I just personally am a Disney person and I was excited to go but I just feel like it was just like so many things that were just not on our side that just really got us down oh I also have these like strips too I could cut down on here might as well do those while we're at it we're making 15 kind of little things and I even had an extra little things page and this is what happens when you do too many things do the do too many times so I feel like I could also like I feel like worst case scenario I could also use glitter headers but I think we're gonna try this method first or like I could have like grabbed ombre heart checklist and cut those up or just grabbed like an extra sheet of little things. I don't know. Has anybody else ever had to do this? Because this is a real time. I'm getting crafty. I've been thinking about doing some like plan with me's, but like more functional plans. Let me know if you want to see that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. That's not that's not fifteen. So let's just start with these and see where we go. Because we also have this one. So let's start here and just start putting them back and forth and get like a little pattern going because maybe i can also if i squish them together enough stick something else in there besides a little thing you know let's do this these are like really cut up well we're just gonna hide all of the ones that are like cut by me underneath here and hope for the best so put this one here i feel like i can maybe 
just do a blue one of these in here without cutting it because of how like weird I cut these. Yeah, that'll fit. Perfect. And then I'll do yellow, pink, purple, and blue. Those are all kind of chunkier, huh? Let's cut this one a little skinnier. Let's see if I can fit something above it. Blue. Are you watching The Last of Us? I am not caught up, so no spoilers, please. But I'm on episode, I think, six. Maybe I will just really slim something down. Let's do... Color be yellow. Let's just do, like, one of these really, really skinny for the fifth. And then I think I'm, like, home free on. I could get kind of creative with the rest of it. Doot, 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 doot. Perfect. Look at that. Once there's stickers on it, we won't even notice. And then this also needs more, but maybe I can just like take something out so I don't have to cut. Like, look at this. This is weird. See that many stickers taken up. Um, but yeah, there's, and then I also have these too. I could like cut these up, little strips. I can do that. This one. Because this one also, I think the third one also has to be five. Or does it maybe I'll just take something out? Uh, no, it's all important. Let's put this in. And then we'll do the one that was, or let me just do one of these to get creative the rest of the week too, but that's okay. And then I think I'm going to use this last purple one. Oh, it's too big. So we'll use a blue. And really skinny cut this one too. Okay, let's start at the top. I'm sorry that that was very boring. So on this day we were leaving, but we still like somehow did so much stuff. We didn't, we didn't have like really much planned, but we were like, we don't want to waste time. So we did pack this day pack up and we dropped off our bags at the baggage drop-off area then it was so exciting because we found out that there was munchling pins this day because we had said prior and i was actually telling jessica the story and she's like i told you that they made pins and i was like did you because i don't remember that so i was like wouldn't it be so cool if they had um munchling pins because we were just so like in the munchling mood and then they had them at our resort and we were just like, okay, we're buying them all. So we then went over to the Riviera, which is connected by the Skyliner. We figured let's do some resort hopping versus just eating at the resort that we were at. We were like, let's just go do something. Then we met, um, oh wait, hold on, Riviera, Riviera, okay. That, hold on, they're still up. So then we went and got breakfast at Primo Piatto. It was basically the same thing that we were going to eat elsewhere, except for Hannah did get, like, pancakes, and we just, like, split them both. Pancakes and Mickey waffles, because that's all I wanted. And then we walked over to Caribbean Beach to check out the shop and the pin board there. And that is where we met David, who was just the nicest, sweetest soul ever. And he pin traded with us and had this really cool, like, little treasure chest with, like, pins inside of it. It was so fun. And then outside of there, we were just having, like, Disney was just giving us the best time after Universal. Like, the Hoopty Doo Doll was so fun. I would recommend it to literally anyone. And then we met David. And then we also met Milton, who gave us temporary tattoos, which was so fun. Then we took the bus from there to Disney Springs because that was like our plan for the day was to go to Disney Springs because we had like a later flight home. So we, we took a bus to Disney Springs and the first thing we did when we got there was um, we got these super cute Tiny Kingdom pins. They were so fun and so adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. They're really great for like pin filler for like if you have little spots to fill up. So Tiny Kingdom pins. And then we, oh, uh, I bought art. I don't really think I 
have a sticker for that. I have a coffee cup, but I don't know what the coffee cup is for. Um, we'll just use this for buying art. So I love Joey Chu. I am a huge, huge fan, and I have a bunch of different canvases in my house, canvas prints, and I, wait, oh, it's on the other one, um, blah, 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 art. And I, we went to the, one of the stores in Disney Springs and there was a new piece that I hadn't seen and it's so pretty. I wish you could see it. It's like, I think it might be like Tokyo Disney inspired and it's so cute. If you look up Joey Chu and maybe like Tokyo Disney or just Joey Chu, it might be on his like Instagram or his, um, like website, but it's so pretty and we waited for forever for the person to help us like get it like we were like oh we want this and then they like disappeared basically and they went into the back and they were like oh yeah like this is the last one we just put it out today and I was like oh dang um so they like took it down and wrapped that one up so that they could ship it home for me and I was just so excited about it and I have it now and it's beautiful perfect everything and it was just the most me thing ever so very excited about that and then we went to Coke and got the, like, chick not the chicken flight, the, <laughs> the Coke flight, and it was so gross. We were like, oh, we, might, we probably will like a couple of them, and they were all bad, like, almost, like, all but, like, one was, like, tolerable. Then afterwards, we had plans to get lunch at Chicken Guy, which I was like, I don't know how good this is going to be, but it was actually very good. Also, I'm going to put in, because I completely passed it, that we got more munchlings. So, I'm just going to plop that in here. Then, also, Hannah will have a plan with me of this up. I don't know if mine will go up or hers will go up first, but it'll eventually be there and here and everywhere. Then, we went to Port Orleans, because we had a little bit of time, and I was like, all right, let's just go to another resort. We just went up to, like, at Disney Springs, we went up to the little board, and we were like, where do you want to go? And I was like, let's go to Port Orleans. So, we went there. And then, I think I missed something. Port Orleans. And we took the notebook kibbick. So, it was like, so whenever you walk around Port Orleans, like, in the, like, room area, it almost looks like streets instead of sidewalks. So, I was like, oh, you know, we look right here, a notebook pic. Because we just watched the notebook where, like, they lay on the street and look up at the street lights. So, we did that and took a picture and sent it to the boys. And they were just like, you guys are so dumb. And I'm like, you're just jealous that you're not as cool as us. So then we went back to Art of Animation and collected our things. And I'm just going to put in notebook pick because that is so cute. And then we, um, also, what is this? Angelica. Oh, she was our other Uber driver. That was so funny. So, so funny. We loved her. So then this one only needs four. So I can get, I can get a little more creative with my placings probably still gonna use these because I didn't need four so then I'm gonna put these four down I'm gonna do the purple and the blue I don't know I'm gonna do the rest of the week we're really running low on supplies here not really but like fake low on supplies so these are perfect so then we went to the airport and our flight was delayed for like 100 years I felt like I just kept getting delayed so we decided to well I got Wendy's what I got just french fries and a drink and then we played Dungeons Dice and Danger four times we played it like once I think we played it twice no we played it twice in terminal and then we played it twice on the airplane but it made the time fly but it was so fun there was like four different kind of like levels and we ended up playing all of them on the trip and like some of them multiple times I think and then on the way home I was like yeah I'm hungry so we decided to get McDonald's and we were singing frozen jams had a little sing-along and then I put in a little Nick hates us because we were just telling him all the stories and we were just like cracking up crying and he was not amused he texted the group chat to well, Chris the group chat and was like come get your lady she's she and Andre are annoying me. So that's that. They love us secretly. Then on Saturday, I was home at last. And now I can use some fancy labels, which I feel like I'm like, thank the Lord. So let's do this. Let's do some fancy labels. And I'll even do some of these to get real crafty. 
So this day was like home at last, just back chilling. So I, on Saturday, we decided to go to H Mart in the morning as a family. And I think that, oh yeah, it's all in here too. Cool. H Mart. So we all went to H Mart. We got like those sticks with like the cheese and like the breading around it. And we got like fried chicken and other things. We just like order a bunch of stuff from different places and we all just share it. And then I did unpack this day. I've been trying to get better at unpacking as soon as I get home. When I pre kids, I was really good at it, but now not so much. Then I decided to clean out the refrigerator. Every time I come home from somewhere, I have to do that because Nick does not clean out the refrigerator. So I had to do that. I do that when I came back from New York too. Then I put in that it was game night. Santa and I had not gotten enough of each other, so we had to have a game night. Just game night is is the best night. It's the, the funnest night. So I have this game night sticker that I'm just going to plop here. So cute. I think it's from Fox and Pip. And then I have the little me and Hannah sticker for us pranking the boys by wearing matching shirts. So funny pranked where's the pranked pranked and then we did get wing stop for dinner i do love wings just in general was this the night i oh, know i think it was the next wing night that chris taught me how to eat a wing wing stop and then i we played my city and then we also played casting shadows because ryan one of my employees Texted me, was like, hey, I have the Kickstarter one. I saw that you wanted to play it if you want to borrow it. And I was like, say less. Please, thank you. I love you so much. So we got to play it. I will say, though, it wasn't my favorite game. Um, grateful that I got to play it, though. So we played My City, which is always a banger. We played Dice Thrones, which was super fun. I think that it was because we played, like, I thought Casting Shadows was, like, fun. And then we played Dice Thrones, and I'm like, well, Dice Thrones is, like, way better. And kind of, like, similar idea, but I think just executed a little bit better. And then... Huh. I'm confused. And then on Sunday, I woke up early. Nick was, like, super tired. Basically, whenever I was gone, he stayed up really late every night. Nick's not, like, really wanting to stay up late, so I thought it was kind of weird. But he stayed up super late playing video games with his friends. Not like he can't do that while I'm around, but he stayed up, like, all week. So I was like, well, I appreciate you, you know, watching the kids. So I was like, um, not, like, I guess I... I know people don't like whenever you say like watching the kids, but like he was main caregiver while he played, he played video games. I don't know what that has to do with it, but he was the main, like took care of the kids while I was in Disney. Normally we like tag team it obviously. So I was like, I wanted to let him make sure that he was able to sleep in on Sunday because he was super tired from like the kids all week and staying up and stuff. So I went ahead and like, got up early, took the boys over to the in-laws because they were just begging to go, and then I did Target pickup on the way home. Lila was still sleeping. Nick was obviously there, so it wasn't a big deal, and then I put away a Humongo grocery order because I was gone for a week, and then I worked from home this day because I had a lot of things to catch up on, and then my, we went over to my in-laws for dinner they wanted to make chicken and dumplings which I was a little nervous about but they were actually pretty good and then I was just with Nick the rest of the night after the kids went to sleep so for working from home I just have this little laptop scribbler and then I have um just like a with Nick and then I have just a little icon for eating at the in-laws the chicken and dumplings, and then let me go back to this. Let me go back to the sidebar real quick, and then I'll show you the whole thing. This is going to be a very long video. So I'm going to put that over there, and I'm just going to look and see if there's anything else I want to put on here. Skyland. I've got Space Mountain, Morning Soda, Shops, Universal, Lettuce, Photos. Um, I think I might put... 
There's the lettuce is so teeny. I think I'm just going to put it like here. Lettuce period. That was it. So I don't think I need any of those. And then this one, just Disney girlies, Diet Coke, Angela, Angelica to airport. Slept in fun ticket. I don't know what fun ticket was. Tenors and fries, Dice runs Disney with Hannah and 500. So I'm going to put Disney with Hannah here. And then I'm going to use the friend sticker. This was the like literal most fun though. I had such a blast. Let's put this here. It was just such good vibes. I feel like we just mesh very, very well together. Oh, I had a little thing I didn't even use. What do you know? And then also we did reach 500 followers on our board game Instagram. So I'm just going to put that 500 here. I think that's very, very cute. So that is everything. And let me get my life together real quick. Okay, so this is what she looks like. I'm going to give you a full zoom out. So that's where we are. And then I wanted to use this one because we both love Avril Lavigne. So that's the quote I'm going to use. And I'm going to put it... Just put it here. Is there another one I want to use? Mm. Yeah, I like I like that one. Might put another one in if I feel so inclined. Let me show you what else I have left. Not a lot. Foil wise, it's a mess, so we're not even gonna go through it. But I will probably be putting a couple of the little deco bits around but i'll do that later and i also need to grab out a february little sticker for the top but i love this spread i think it turned out so pretty so cute and i just love all of it great great memories and i feel less stressed out now that this is done to be honest because this was a wild ride like look at this is my second sticker pile i'm peeling up off my hand but it was worth it because the spread looks bomb.com but that is everything i hope you like this video and i will talk to you in the next one bye